Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. Welcome to today's video. I'm going to be rescuing this Thematophyllum by Pinadifidum. But this used to be known as the Philodendron and it comes from South America, but it has been re reclassified into Thematophyllum. And this is actually one of my favorite plants for a few reasons. Number one, it can take full sun. In fact, it thrives in really good direct sunlight. This particular plant is grown on my t plant table and I do have a video on me arranging that plant table because it is getting full sun sometimes so this plant is actually shielding my other plants below it from direct sunlight so i definitely recommend this as a plant that uh, if you have a, let's say a balcony that faces west or east or or really harsh sunlight uh, in an apartment or a building i recommend this plant because when you have this out on the balcony not only does it give you a statement like you can really see this from downstairs you can really see from afar that that's a crazy plant person living there but you can also put a lot of the uh, bright indirect light loving tropical house plants or even low light plants kind of below it around it so this is a very good plant for landscaping i've had this plant for about a year and a half it got it when it was pretty small the leaves were probably about like this big and now it's gotten really huge uh, this is a pretty fast grower it's always putting out a new leaf really quickly about the care direct sunlight full sun is great for it and it can also take bright indirect light if you have it in lower light it's going to grow very slowly water it according to the light levels that you're giving it of course you want to let these plants dry out between watering but with more light you want to water it more if you have this grown in full sun i would even go as far as say water this every day uh, this plant actually did have some mealy bugs issues some pest issues i think probably because it was stressed out i did move did this plant around quite a bit and as uh, i mentioned before this plant used to be shielding other plants below it so maybe some of the pests did move up from some of those plants below and i do fertilize this plant a little bit more than my other house plants because they are pretty prolific growers usually plants that grow fast that likes full sun they also want to have a little bit more nutrients than your lower light plants i'm going to show you a clip of the baby and give you a, a bit of a hint on how they're propagated because today we're not going to be propagating this guy we're going to be rescuing it for the most part here's the baby version of the thematophyllum by pinatifidum and it's so cute i actually bought these as two plants they were actually much smaller than these as you can see these are two plants and they've actually put out a lot of pups around here and i think i might have overwatered this because the pups are turning yellow very quickly so i guess the fastest way to propagate them would be to cut these pups off from the parent plant and then just put it in their own potting mix i see two pups here actually possibly even more uh, actually this is a plant that i really neglect and as you can tell from the mature form that we're uh, rescuing today that there's no place for them to put out pups because it was so tight in the pot but these guys do put out pups so yeah and i can imagine that these guys probably will flower and fruit very readily so this is how they commercially grow them and this is also why they're pretty inexpensive to come by here all right so this guy actually was potted into this ridiculously small pot it was actually oversized about i would say even a year ago and i just procrastinated i did not do anything i did not repot it i should have but look at how crazy root bound I, I only see roots in here and this used to give me bigger leaves and used to grow a lot faster this leaf took like three months to unfurl so yeah this plant is actually in decline now that's why i, I do have to release this plant today i may have to break the pot because i don't see how i can get this out of the pot but we will see where possible i don't know i didn't really look up the propagation for these guys but they're a little bit harder than your philodendrons so maybe while we're on potting it later we can see if we can propagate it and maybe go through the, some of the anatomy of the thematophyllums with you guys because they're a little bit different from your philodendrons oh and i'm going to be giving you a few months update to show you how this plant did after we rescued it after we moved it up to a better and bigger pot when i see ants inside which means that there's probably a lot of pests <laughs> down there probably mealybugs and there's no way for fertilizer to get inside look at how tight this is i don't even know how i'm gonna get it out of this pot and this is terracotta which means that the plant will have also rooted into the pot it gripped it so i have a feeling i'm gonna have to break this actually like some people would say definitely to soak it and then let it come free but i don't think that's happening only because look at this pot it's got a narrow lip <laughs> so <laughs> let's see all right so i did decide to break the pot hopefully this mallet will do the job 
And yeah, this in this case, the pot was actually expensive. I have a feeling the pot may be more expensive than the plant. But I do have to free this guy. And this is the only way to go. So let's see if this will work. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I see a lot of ants. Hang on, let me take this off. I see a lot of ants. And mealybugs, for sure, there are a lot of mealybugs there. So the ants are harvesting the mealybugs. Uh, this is so pretty, oh my god, beautiful, root torn. And I can't wait to free this guy. This guy looks like it's suffering. I'm so sorry I, I put off the repotting for too long. Look at that. Yeah, and I'm so sorry for the pot too. I know this is very difficult for you guys to watch, probably, but this must be done. Because I do value the the life of the plant. <laughs> Look at that, that's mealybugs. So this is going to bounce back really well and where if possible I may try to propagate it. Let's see. Oh yeah and about the pot, I have stopped buying pots with narrow lips for this reason. This was actually one of my first few plants which is why it's in this kind of setup. Now most of my pots are like this. Like it's perfectly easy to repot. Wow so look at that. Oh my goodness, everybody's panicking. Run, run, I'm gonna come and get you. <laughs> I'm not really worried about this because I'm gonna treat it and it's gonna do well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just loosen this up and then put it in a big pot. I don't even know if I have pot this size, but yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. All right, so I just recorded the last segment with my microphone off. So let me refilm again. So I did find a really big pot for it. And then I kind of teased the roots a little bit to get it free so that uh, the roots can do well in the new media. And because you see these little strands, you don't want them facing inwards. You want them to be kind of free, kind of loose to take over the new media. So I'm going to put that in this massive pot here, which is about this size. Before I completely bury this guy, I'm going to talk a little about the anatomy. Not that I know a lot about this guy, I actually don't. The Tomatophyllums grow this way, it's like almost rosette-like, kind of like an anthurium, where all this is used to be in a patio and a leaf, so this as well. So then they would actually grow outwards, they would grow thicker and thicker stems and thicker petioles, and this plant actually can get massive, it could get huge. This is actually still a juvenile. Yeah, they do that, and just like with most aeroids, Usually one petiole will correspond to one set of aerial roots like this one and then there should be a growing eye somewhere which I cannot see right now and I'm not sure uh, how this works but they're so tightly, what do I call it, growth, growing together. I don't even know how you would cut it. I can imagine maybe you want to cut like, I don't know, like cut like here and you want to take this petiole and some of the aerial roots and some of the main stem with it uh, yeah, I'm not sure, but what I'm sure is if you could look over here, I'm not going to do it now, of course, but there's all these top growth and there's these uh, roots here. If I just chopped it off right here, like cut it off, and then I kept some of the roots, of course I can because these roots are tangled up in there, but say I did not overpot this and I just want to cut this, I'm pretty sure that I can root the top portion in a different potting mix and this will live. And then the bottom part would put out some growth point from the growing eye below. I'm pretty sure of that because that's how aeroids uh, propagate. All right, so I'm done with potting this up. I did put some fura down here. This is carbofuran. It's a very controversial pesticide, it's chemical. And I did mention it in a few of my videos, so I'm not gonna repeat that here. And then I did put some slow release fertilizer and they kind of keep the fertilizer around the, the side of the pots because I don't want it to burn the roots directly. But then I did put these uh, fora done closer to the roots because that's where all the pests are. And then I don't want to water this with neem oil yet, but I am going to in about two to three weeks because it's probably already stressed out by all this. So I'm just going to water it regularly. I may even put some vitamin B1, even though I don't think it's proven that vitamin B1 helps with acclimatizing the plants. But I'm going to do that because it's placebo and I want to feel good. I want to sleep better. So yeah, I'm going to put this back in its original spot and then give it a good drink and then give you guys an update in a few months. Welcome to a 15 months update. A lot has changed since then. So I started filming at my dad's home and then I moved to this temporary home for a 
15 months and then I'm actually ready to move out next week to my new home and unfortunately I cannot bring this guy with me because he's gotten so huge he's almost as tall as me so this has been continuously growing in that pot that we gave it and it's just getting bigger and bigger and out of control actually this is nearly their full size they can get a lot bigger than this actually and they can fruit and you can pollinate them you can seed them and uh, a lot of hybrids also come from this plant so this is actually a prolific grower and I really recommend this for beginners or for people who want to fill out large areas with a plant or for you know placements that are direct or full sun this is the perfect plant for you I really recommend so much beauty and it's just been so easy to care for all right I'm at botanist on Instagram feel free to DM me if you have any questions about plant care and propagation I'll try my best to get back to you meanwhile do take care and stay safe I will see you in the next one bye